I was a young boy of 13 when I asked myself one day, why is everyone teaching me how to be an employee? I hadn't seen enough of anything reasonable in the world to fully understand life, but somehow I thought that it was wrong for the school, the church and my family to be teaching, encouraging or saying things to make me love a job. I think there should be another way. While growing up, I started questioning most assumptions in my society about life, success and money, and the more questions I asked, the smarter I became. Because questions make you look for answers, and answers make you wiser. You see, Albert Einstein said, the important thing is not to stop questioning. Curiosity has its own reason for existing. One of the most important skills any young person should have is the skill of questioning, because being curious makes you search for what most people wouldn't search for. Find what most people wouldn't see and achieve what most people can only dream of. Tony Robbins in Awaken the Giant Within wrote, The quality of your life is a direct reflection of the quality of the questions you are asking yourself. In other words, good questions lead to a good life, while bad questions or no questions leads you nowhere. My Journey to Success as a young boy growing up in a poor neighbourhood, the general assumption of everyone is that the guys who worked in banks are rich. Also, if you work in an oil company or a multinational company, yes, you're rich. If you're a doctor, a lawyer or something like that, you're rich. This was a societal belief and nobody questioned it. Many parents influenced the career of their children because they wanted them to be lawyers, doctors or accountants. The problem with conventional belief is that it dictates the dreams and aspirations of young people, except for those who question it. At a point I started asking myself, is it true that bankers are rich? Are lawyers and doctors truly rich? Then I discovered something. These people are perceived to be rich because they usually look rich. These people often have a little more money than the rest of the population. And they, and they usually have the means to take some loans more than the average person. Because these people have a bit more money and access to be in deeper debt, they buy expensive cars, live in more beautiful homes and send their kids to expensive schools. When I discovered the truth, I had to ask another question. Who are the truly rich people? I read and studied every book I could find about money and discovered that the truly wealthy people are those who know how to make money, legitimately, and because I wanted to become rich, I chose to change my dream. Yes, I had wanted to be an accountant, but I later decided to be an entrepreneur. Please don't misunderstand me. I don't mean to talk ill about accountants, lawyers or doctors. What I'm preaching is awareness. You have to know why you do what you do. And you can only know that if you ask personal questions. The important thing is not to stop questioning. Curiosity has its own reason for existing. For you to know that I'm not speaking against any profession, I don't even think most people who want to be entrepreneurs today know what they are talking about. What I see happening is that just as everyone in the last 20 years wanted to work for banks because social proof dictated that, everyone today wants to be an entrepreneur simply because everyone else wants to be. Another critical question to be asked is, what is being rich? What does success mean? Does being an entrepreneur make everyone happy? Even though I'm an entrepreneur, I am careful not to live like many successful entrepreneurs I know. For example, I once heard a very respectable millionaire saying something like, I've told my wife before I married her that I'm not the kind of guy that gets home at 7pm. What this means is that because he's rich, he's busy and he might not get home until 9 or 10pm every day. While this is not a crime and doesn't make him a bad man, I wanted something different, because I love my family. I make it a significant part of my definition of success to have a great home. I want to spend a lot of quality time with my wife and kids. And yes, that might mean that I might not have as much money as the guy who works from 7am to 10pm, 
But again, it's about asking yourself the right question. What does success mean to you? You can't just afford to live your life the way your society dictates. You must be bold enough to ask some tough questions. Is my society right about what they call success? Am I going to be happy as an entrepreneur? Can I take so many risks? Do I love to manage people and their headaches? Are doctors wealthy? Would I love to work 12-hour days? The important thing is not to stop questioning. Curiosity has its own reason for existing. The quality of your questions determines the quality of your life. Good questions lead to a good life, while bad questions or no questions leads to nowhere. How can I become rich? My father was a farmer and my mother a seamstress. I spent the first decade of my life on cocoa farming, so I know practically what poverty smells like. However, when I was growing up, I started asking the question, how can I be rich? While you might assume that everyone asks that question, I'll prove that most people don't. Most people don't ask that question because if you genuinely ask, how can I be rich, you'll be curious enough to search for how to be rich. For example, most adults I know rarely read books about money, though they don't read books about anything else too. I know people who have never read a single book about money. How do you explain that? Because I was curious to learn about money, I read hundreds of books, each of them changing my mind in some way. By the time I was 25, I already knew more about money than 99% of the people in the world. And because my curiosity is not just to have a bigger head, I was willing to take actions as well. If there's any single thing I want to achieve with this video, that will be to challenge you to ask questions and seek answers. Ask personal questions and be curious to get the answers. Ask a question to challenge what everyone else believes is true. Is money truly scarce? Are doctors truly rich? Can everyone become entrepreneurs? Is the university truly giving education? Is the right education about how to be an employee? Is becoming rich the same as driving the most expensive cars? Is money more important to my life than my relationship with my wife and family? Is the government truly the reason why I am poor? Are the rich truly greedy? If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We love you.